for the EVA to rule the Russian speaker takers out there. What's going on? I made a Reese. Now we're going to check out a Russian trailer I was sent. Don't know what this is. There's no English uh, title for this. I was looking around. There's not even one with embedded. And I get asked this a lot when I check out trailers from uh, different countries with different languages. They say that well, even when there's not English embedded in the trailer, YouTube can do an auto translate. Shit never works. It just comes out gibberish. Like, it just, it's pointless. And most of the time, you can figure out what's going on anyway, so, screw it. So, I don't know what the proper title is, so we know it's this uh, war movie, some kind, from Russia, so let's check it out. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on. Ладно, Восков, будут тебе не пьющие. Войско ваше прибыло. Первое и второе отделение третьего ввода пятой роты отдельного зенитно-пулеметного батальона прибыли в ваше распоряжение для охраны объекта. Нашли, значит, не пьющих. Я тебя по трибуналам! Немцы в лесу. Рядовой Камелькова. Я. Рядовой четвертак. Боец Бричкина. Боец Гурвич. Приказываю всем бойцам. Держать фронт. До последней капли крови держать. Стреляй! Okay, I can only make presumptions here, so I'm going to need you guys who may have heard of this or seen this to fill me in. I'm presuming that this guy has been put in command of these, this women, these, this little, uh, this little squadron. And I'm, do you think it's going to be like the what was that baseball movie with Tom Hanks? He was a, a washed-up old baseball coach. And they ended up with this, all the men were at war, so ended up with this all-female baseball team. And he underestimated them. They think, you know, didn't really give a shit about them. And is this going to be like that, where he kind of sees that he's got all these women and just think, oh, they're, they're girls, they're going to be too weak, they ain't going to be good enough. But then he sees that they really are, they're, they're brave and these women can do it. Like, they're sniper as good as any, that they're willing to die and give their life for their country just as much as the dudes are. That's what's gonna happen, and he's just gonna end up truly loving these women, like you know, they're his daughters. I can see that happening, but I could be completely wrong in that if that's like the idea of what the story is. But that's what I'm presuming from what I can see in this. But it looks intense, man. Raises an interesting question that comes up every few years when it comes to war in the military. I'm not sure whether there are some countries where this isn't the case, but there's always this thing about whether women should fight. Not in the military in general, but on the actual front line, side by side. And then there's this argument that if you're, if they should, like, everyone's always scared to ask the question that not necessarily that they're not capable, because with training, anybody can be, anybody can be strong. You know, there are always going to be exceptions to the rule. But, you know, for the most part, you know, they, uh, why not? If they're of the mindset that they want to join the military in the first place, that usually attracts a certain type of women. You know, we got in our heads, we're kind of thinking of these little frail, you know, tiny, petite women. Most of the time, you look at women that join the military, they're not. They're tough, they're thick, they're strong, you know, all of that shit. But that's not always just the issue, though. Is If there's that possibility of it distracting your own team, like men have this inbuilt thing that we sometimes we want to protect the women around us now is that a character flaw like are there women that would be offended by that but when we're dealing with our military for whatever country we're from you now is it right to even be upset that some men may have that in them that this is in 
basically is an honourable trait. It's like a gentlemanly trait, but some people will see it as a negative thing, like it's a patronising or something. But if that's a possibility, then, then is that a reason not to have women on the front line? It's, it's a weird one. I don't really know the true question for that. You know, maybe it's a case by case thing. I don't know. But it's, it's an interesting one. It kind of brings it in my mind. But I'm actually curious to know what you guys think, whether it's something that can be discussed or whether it's something that gets people heated. I'm sure it does. I'm sure some of you are like, hell no. And some of you are like, fuck yeah. So uh, I want to know. I want to know. But as far as this goes, it looked cool. It looked intense. It looked like there's going to be some heartbreaking deaths in this. And some women find that patronizing, patronizing, some more, I don't know. I ain't gonna put a dress for it, but some more. Let me know, like, story on this, and your idea of uh, women on the front line. I'm curious. Right, comments down below, you like the video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, I am at a race. And this has been my first take to I have no idea what, because it's not in English. So, uh, mm, that's the gun, yeah.